It's a good, it's a good move for him. Oh, but I don't know if that's a signing that makes me go, whoa, United are going to be a problem next year. Oh, I, I, I love it. That's what I'm saying. If you had more, if he's a good signing, he's a good signing. If you get him right, I'll be like, okay. Everyone at the convention, they were like, oh, he's going to be a good signing. Sancho's gonna get dropped from Greenwood. It's not where the opinion gets out. Trust me, I know about Bundesliga. Bro, Bro. 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 it's a word that I'm proud of as well. Bro, it's a word that I'm proud of as well. Bro, Havertz is easy to call this. Havertz came, Havertz came, Havertz came. I just said to you, that final goal is the most important thing. Seen him being the second, it's true. Play him right, Havertz is the third. Havertz is the three goals. Three goals. Three goals. Three goals. Three goals. Three goals. Piece of Mama see her looking like a figure eight. I see the hook, I still bit the bait. Good pussy keeping me awake. Got them big rats. There's supposed to be a Mykonos right now, enjoying, you know what I mean? Chest hairs and that. And that come, bro. This is Mykonos, guys. Look at this. But instead, we're in London. Rain, rain, look. This is supposed to be a Mykonos. Look at this, bro. This is supposed to be Mykonos. Oh, man. The Cedric Cowley, Nadal, Toronto. Where were you last week, bro? Oh, I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Starting line up, me, Lee at the back. I believe it was ads in the ten. David as the striker, and we rotate from there. Obviously, I'll be honest, I said to the boys already, we gotta get the intensity going, we gotta pump it, we gotta pump this team, bro. They're a decent little side, but I know for a fact we can run up against them. Fools the season, let's go. Yo, my people, it's your boy Clouds P. Welcome back to the Seasons Football Channel. This week on the Summer Fives, the boys are up against Eiffel 65. This is actually the reverse fixture, as they were unable to fill the team for the first game for whatever reason resulting in a 10-0 win in our favour. No gaffer this week as he's on a well-deserved holiday meaning that I took the executive decision to make Terrell player manager hence the big man himself calling the starting five. Free kick seasons a slow pace thus far but Pinto's cheeky ball through the legs of the Eiffel man falls to the feet of our sharpshooter Adnan who slots home for the first. Great hustle from player manager Terrell and a lovely potent strike from Alex, saved by the goalkeeper. New face on the field for Seasons FC that goes by the name of Khalid, played against him a few times and liked the look of him, good balance to stay on his feet, finds Leandro who hits a first time pass into the unmarked Alex who had time for everything as he puts it through the keeper's legs. Leo with a firm hand. My attempted pass to Alex is read by the Eiffel man, but I redeem myself my exquisite shot blocking abilities as I take two to the legs. Leandro looks to push our game forward, finds Alex in an advanced position, but the Eiffel man has the composure to dispossess Alex before unleashing a ferocious left footed strike, beating Leo at the front post. Some would say Khaled took that person. Oh my god. Great passing sequence followed by a lovely touch from Adnan to send the opposition player, but his shot fails to hit the target. Some great feet here from myself, first to spin the defender and then to send him as Alex provides an outlet. Ball now switched first time into Khalid, whose effort is blocked. Poor effort from Eiffel 65 to play out as Alex pounces on the defender, Adnan's effort blocked, Alex's comes off the post. Ball won in the opposition half, Adnan's effort is blocked again, ball quickly played back into the feet of Adnan, who plays a lovely one-two with Alex, but the shot saved by the keeper. The Eiffel man in a privileged position, but fails to hit the target, loose ball picked up by myself, I progress up the field with the ball, but as I go to play in Alex, I completely miss the ball and lose my foot in, Eiffel with another opportunity, but once again, a good opportunity squandered. Great turn from Alex, as his exquisite touch puts him one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, sending him one way and putting the ball on the other side.
strong challenge from the defender to tackle Pinto, the Eiffel man making use of the boards but his effort is stopped by Leo. Eiffel 65 with a few more chances as the first half draws to an end but Leo with the double save to keep the scoreline at 4-1, ball falls to my feet, should have played it across to Pinto as my shot is blocked but referee stops play as he believes I had ball it. Adnan pushing the ball up the field and inside prompting a shot to with a great press and rewarded for his efforts as he wins the second ball and tops off this play with a delicious back kill which ever so sweetly creeps into the Eiffel net. Leo, an outfield player by nature, currently injured doing an unreal job in goal for the boys. Free kick to the opposition, the subsequent shot fails to hit the target, poor use of the boards, puts Leandro on his bike but his left footed effort doesn't hit the target, ball through to the lonely Eiffel man up top who makes use of the second man run as he passes it out assisting his teammate. First half scoreline set at 5-2 as the referee blows for the half. I personally think we're giving them too much respect. And then that's impossible as shit, I'll be honest. You could easily press them and get like eight mistakes up there. But we just have to stick to the formation. It's 2 2 it's two one one for a reason, but it works. You know what I mean? We're doing good going forward in a bit. Every time we miss a chance, it's like 2v2 every time. It's like a scenario, isn't it? I said, I said to our strikers, to Adam and David, yeah, you have to be cool to against this team, though. We need to bug against this team. That's because of us though, if you're not putting in the corner, he's gonna say The only thing I was gonna say is yeah, you though, know, if you feel as if like it is getting a bit, you know, tense in the back, tell him it, just tell him. Also, I don't know if you're gonna do that because yeah, we've been at the end. I think it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then like we said in it, press them. And then after we press them, win the ball, we'll try and rip them. Press, press, them, bro. Them, press them. I press I did like a little 70% press against them on the ball, bro. It's not that hard. Yeah, no, Alex has been doing the same thing. Alex yeah. up front, not the They can't. Second half underway with an Eiffel 65 kickoff. Player manager Terrell opting for a five of Leandro, himself, Khalid, and Pino to start the second half strong. Season's quick to retain possession, straight off the rip but Pinto seems to forget the rules of five-a-side as he passes the ball back to the keeper after receiving it from the same outlet. Now, I'm not even certain myself what the correct punishment is as I've played in games where the referee awards a penalty as I have games where a free kick has been awarded. The referee in this situation awards the latter as the boys are let off. season's ball, Leandro punching a ball into Pino's feet, Pino's shot is blocked as the boys seem to forget their defensive duties but with Khalid breathing down the Eiffel man's neck he's forced into a shot that Leo gets a hand to. Eiffel 65 struggling to create any danger as seasons look to get the ball moving again but Alex's poor pass is picked up by the Eiffel man who passes the ball backwards prompting his teammate to have a shot deflecting off of Leandro's boot and into Leo's goal. Unexpectedly, Eiffel 65 playing some good football but ultimately Leandro is fouled as their goal is chalked off. Khalid taking a leaf out of Terrell's book as his effective press forces the error from the opposition and the resulting free kick sees Alex rifle a left footed rocket into the back of the net so quick the cameraman couldn't even keep up. Eiffel 65 looking to reduce the deficit but lacking the quality, defensive bout in the corner as I come out victorious but a double challenge from the defender keeps the ball in our half and in their possession as the defender turns goal scorer. Controversy as referee blows for a penalty as he assumes Leo handles the ball outside the box. Footage not clear enough to say yay or nay from our end, but the call stands as I for one now within one. After conceding back to back goals, it's important to break the streak, and I do just that as I stroke the ball into the bottom corner. 
really impressed with Khaled's debut game as he hits one into the far corner on his weaker foot. Khaled nearly does it again, but this time on the other side as his shot just goes wide of the goal. Pinna with the rebound. As I look to play it back to him, the outstretched foot of the Eiffel defender forces the ball onto the post. Eiffel 65 also hitting the post and nearly catching me out as the ball almost hits me inside the restricted area. Goalkeeper Leo channeling his inner De Gea with the save of his feet. Terrell into Pinto, one to control, the second to shoot and the man who scored from a deflected effort gets a taste of his own medicine. Lone man found from the free kick, but fairly easy shot for Leo. Adnan looks to push the boys forward, finding Pinto, but his first time pass into Terrell is intercepted. Terrell attempting to win the ball back, but no dice as Eiffel scores a similar goal to the one conceded at the end of the first half. Lovely pass into Pinto, but his effort flies off the post. Great strike from Alex, coming off the keeper and onto the post, followed by some theatrics to cut the tension a little bit. Staying on the topic of tension, let's just say the Eiffel man didn't like the corner trick too tough and wanted to show just how unhappy he was with me. Alex, a live wire all game, even late on in the game, with the fitness to match, adds a naughty nutmeg to his already brilliant performance. And with that, Seasons FC take home the dub as we now go three games unbeaten, still pushing for the league title. We now only have one game remaining in the summer fives. To everyone who has followed our journey since the start or just hopped on now, we appreciate your love. If you haven't already, Please like, comment and subscribe as we look to grow the channel. From your boy CP, we'll see you all for the last game of the season. Peace. All right, here we are with the man of the match. What are your thoughts on the game? It was all right. I think we kept the ball more. Yeah. We see that's good, to be fair. But I think we've done, as, as a team, we've done well. Oh, man, a few words, fam. Oh, man, a few words. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well done today, bro. I'm all with the whole team. Nah, nigga, can't that's a call because I'm balling.